you a little bit. So introduce yourself, tell us where you're joining us from and just tell us a little bit more about you. Okay, so I'm Abiya Yisrael and um, born, raised, I currently reside in the Commonwealth of Dominica. And um, I live right now at Casa Bruce. This is where I co-own the studio, Kaya Studios, along with my husband. So we have um, created our, our, really, our own studio company here. And uh, I've been singing for so many years, since I'm five years old, even in preschool. I remember being a part of the preschool choir, um, as well as primary school, I was a part of the choir. High school, I was a part of the choir. So, and even in my family, you know, my mom, she was a, a choir instructor. Uh, my father loved, loved music. My whole family, my brother plays the keyboard. So I think it was destined to be, you know, for me to be a part of this music industry or, or to be a, a musician. It was really destined to be. <laughs> Yes, yes. So we're so happy that you're joining us here. And we have quite a few people already on the live. So we're, we're thankful that they're here with us. We have Agnes, Marie, Marina, Roslyn, Bassi, Sasha, too many names to call, Abia, just too many names ah, to call. So Bassi. we're very happy that they're here to celebrate you and celebrate the work that you've done. Now, as you started say, I'm talking about, you've had quite a journey with regards to music. Now just kind of walk us through the journey a little bit because I also happen to know that you, you've you been involved with Calypso. So kind of just tell us about the various genres of music that you sing and how you got involved in that. Right, so <laughs> this is right. Um, Calypso for me has been in my life, like I say, a very long time. My father used to play a lot of Calypso, you see he, he um, studied in Trinidad when he was younger. So when he came back, he came back with a lot of Trinidadian calypsos and artists and so forth, and soca music even. So, when, so, you know, it's been in my system. And this year is the second year I've been in a calypso competition. I decided to, to go through because I really wanted something, um, I guess, in Dominica because we've been, you know, the situation with COVID. You know, we've been in Dominica for a while. Everybody, you know, you can't really travel as much. So in the meantime, last year I, I, I entered the Calypso competition for the first time and then I decided to go again this year. And I'm so blessed that we had it even with the COVID-19 situation. And thankfully, I emerged third runner up in this oh, year's competition. Yes. Thank you so much. So, um that's 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 my my relationship with calypso and i see it really um intertwining with reggae music as well seeing how the both genres were birthed because um primarily i do reggae music um mm -hmm. all year round <laughs> all year round mm -hmm. i sing reggae music i produce reggae music so i saw even calypso and reggae being birthed really if you think of it out of oppression out of mm -hmm. hardship they both um, contain lyrical content where we speak for the most fortunate. Um, you know, we, 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 we speak concerning social issues, the present social situations in society, and as well as, uh, you know, trying to be bold against the, the, the ones that we consider the oppressors over us. Mm -hmm. So that's how I felt I could easily switch from Calypso to Reggae, Calypso to Reggae. From time to time, I do um, also a bit of soca music and Zouk, Kadas, you know, Kali. These are our genres. Um, we are a little bit of groovy Buya music as well. So these are our genres, obviously, being raised in Dominica. You will fall in love with them and you will, as a musician, try to, you know, test the waters now and then and experiment with these genres now and then. So I do, I, do, I do a lot. I do a lot of music. I try my best. I try my best to be creative. And I have the help of my husband, thankfully. So the two of us, you know, we really work well as a good team. 
Yeah, uh, excellent. And not to for not forgetting, mm. you've also dabbled in gospel. So tell us about your gospel experience yeah. because you're such a versatile <laughs> performer. <laughs> right. So I mean. Even I remember releasing my first and really only gospel album back in 2012. Um, back then, I was really deep into, into the church, you know, Christianity and so forth. So I still, at that time, doing gospel music lyrically, dabbled with reggae. You know, reggae gospel songs, um, soca gospel, kadas gospel. So the genres have really, and even calypso. I remember even singing, um, I don't know if you know Jerry Lloyd. Oh, Jerry yes, Lloyd absolutely. is also, right? He's also a calypsonian as well. He goes by the Oracle. So mm -hmm. even his songs, you know, he's been singing calypso. So even his songs, his gospel songs, I would from time to time do covers of them, you know, while I was at church. So yeah, if I've always, always had music with me in church and even still now. And I mean, I don't know if you want, if we want to go, <laughs> my journey really- We can go anywhere you has... wanna go. <laughs> <laughs> so after my album, okay, after my album, my gospel album in 2012, which was released locally in Dominica, um, that's when I traveled to university and I spent some time there. And, and during my time at university, I discovered so much history of, of our people, um, the transatlantic slave trade, how social policies were formed, because uh, my degree is in social work. I do have a bachelor's in social work. So that, you know, sparked my interest into finding out, okay, what were we as a people doing even before we came to the West or even before our ancestors came to the West as slaves? And that is when, long and short of the story, that led me all the way back to Africa, to East, Northeast Africa. And, and that's where I found out that in truth and in fact, we have Hebrew roots, you know, as a people, those of us who came to the West. So now, you would find that a lot of my lyrical content speaks of our identity going back to africa mentally spiritually you know going back to the spirituality spirituality that we once had as a people so this is where my um lyrical lyrical content has now been geared towards Mm -hmm. beautifully beautifully said and of course people are already asking for another song so i will be sure to play oh, nice. one you can tell us which one we should play next or maybe we'll play two who knows <laughs> but i'm enjoying this conversation with you as we talk about your journey through music and you mentioned that you you're a graduate of ue um, University of the West Indies uh, in the area of social work. So you're staying quite busy. Now, how, you describe your music as truth music. Can you tell us a little bit more about why your music is called truth music? And then we're going to play another song for those who are asking. <laughs> for sure. Right. So like I said, I discovered a lot of our um, history concerning our identity things that really were not taught to me in the church i must admit you know information i did not really hear about in the church as a people you know and this is why like i say i discovered our connection to the hebrew roots um this is why in my songs you hear now and then i speak a little bit of hebrew mm -hmm. my name abia yisrael is of hebrew origin so this is how I decided to change my name because I wanted to be, you know, fully. Um, so everyone who sees me and hears my music fully understand that, okay, okay. She literally lives the life that she sings about, you know, mm -hmm. and, I, and I discovered even with the way we were named in the West, a lot of us have surnames and names from the colonizers you know, from the persons who owned our ancestors as slaves, you know, the last names that we have may have come from the plantations. So then I wanted to really 
we sort of go back to our original roots and then I discovered the name Abia Yisrael. So my whole lifestyle, yeah, my whole lifestyle is really shown forth in my lyrical content. And therefore I decided to call it Truth Music because I really believe this. Mm -hmm. um, I really believe that what I am singing about is the truth of our people, is the truth of life, whether it is physical, spiritual, you know, and that's where I got the idea to, to consider this truth music. <laughs> yes, yes, great choice of words. Now, everyone is asking for more music, Abia. So let's uh, tell me I'm on your YouTube channel right now. So you can let me know what I should go ahead and play for the fans so they can enjoy some more. I see you have one that was released a month ago on the train. Is that a good choice? Tell me where to go. <laughs> Okay, so this is, I mean, we, we can bring in the soca. We can bring in the soca. It's okay. Oh, so, so this, this one is, is soca. Little... Okay. We yes. can try that one. Let's, <laughs> it's, let's it's an official try that audio one and, and I hope see you how, enjoy. <laughs> how truly versatile you are. So let me go ahead and share my screen so everyone can enjoy our talent from out of Dominica, Miss Abia Yisrael. And she's here telling us all about her music, and she's a very versatile uh, performer. So let's enjoy this number called On the Train. this is doing is showing how versatile of a performer Thank you. <laughs> you are and of course i know everyone is wondering what is her youtube channel so can you go ahead and share your youtube channel so others can jump on this wonderful music right so you can catch me on youtube at abia7 a-b-i-y-a-h and the number seven abia7 yeah and you should be able yes, to get that. all my videos all my content yep mm -hmm. absolutely so let's continue our conversation because i am enjoying this time with you so your bio says claire as the crystal waters of dominica abia delivers vintage sounds of afro-caribbean roots meshed with a spiritual uh lyrical uh adrontiness is that the word a joint, a joint nest. nest. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. This is heard through her new and prior releases such as Protect Me, Love in My Heart, The Empath Empathy Rhythm, uh, Bloodshed in the City, Calabash Running Over, Herb Tree, uh, Kumbaya, and If We Could Love. Wow. Uh, very good work, Abia. Very good work. So I'm hoping that everyone will check out your YouTube channel. Now, just kind of tell us where you've had the opportunity to perform. 
<laughs> so I have been really full force um, about a year now, really consistent with producing and releasing music for about a year now. So this has been during the COVID-19 period. <laughs> So during this uh, one year now, I really have not um, had the time or have not had the opportunity to really travel. However, the year before, in 2019, I did get an opportunity to travel to Guadeloupe. So yeah. I have um, sung in Guadeloupe. Yes. And we intended to continue in 2020. You know, I had other uh, plans, but, you know, it didn't work out. But you know what? Hallelujah, I am alive. <laughs> Amen. I am alive. Amen. Yes. Yeah, and but, just kind of tell mm -hmm. us uh, how you've been promoting yourself given the restrictions of COVID-19 and not really being able to travel. How have you been able to promote yourself during this time? Yeah, well, like I was saying, um, through social media, really, this, is the, this has been the main thing um, in person, of course, uh, locally. Um, but... I find that uh, utilizing social media has really boosted, um, I guess, my following base. And um, I've had the opportunity to perform for uh, a lot of a lot of online shows. Like there was, there's this DJ in Italy, Donny Power. So I've had an opportunity to perform um, online twice. Um, yes, on his Donny Power show, Power Stream show, to be exact. So I've really mm -hmm. been connecting with people via social media and the good thing is um well i guess the the silver lining through covid19 is that a lot of djs a lot of even regular persons have been really looking um for new music because everybody is sort of attached to their device right now you know they're paying more attention so through that i have been able to really connect with really good producers from uh south africa you know, I may have, like, there was one time I promoted one of my songs and this producer from South Africa saw it, two of them actually. So I'm now working with two producers from South Africa, wow. um, Herb Tree. Yes, I, I, I connected with a producer in Kenya. He's based in Germany right now, but in Kenya, um, he produced the song for Herb Tree as well as Calabash Running Over. And of course, our work continues with him. I have been connected with producers from Italy as well, um, Jamaica, um, and even and even um, Europe. Uh, yeah, so I have been working. I have so much music still in store, and of course, work continues with us here at Kaya Studios. So yeah. social media has been it for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. And, and you I'm know, you're not that. the only one, you know, <laughs> because I had this young 12-year-old uh, who was actually able to make it to the kids' baking championships simply through social media. So I say all the time, nice. don't discount the importance. If you have a business, you have a product, you have a talent that you're trying to get out to the world, don't discount the importance of making connections through social media. Because if not for social media, you would have never connected with all these producers around the world. And even you too, Simone. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Me too, yes. This is how we are. Exactly. <laughs> Yes, this is how we connected. Mm -hmm. Yes, wonderful, exactly. wonderful. So, so I think a lot of people would want to know who writes your music. Okay, both myself and my husband. Mm -hmm. You know, we write together. It's it's been us for a while. Even mm -hmm. sometimes when he writes a song, I do have the liberty to play around with the melody and play around with the lyrics as well. So like mm -hmm. I said, together as a team, we work really, really well. Yeah. And where does your inspiration come from, for, from your music? I know you talked about our history, but are you one of those artists that'll be walking down the road and, you know, you'll see something and you're like, oh, that's a song right there. <laughs> that is true. That is true. It happens. I mean... The main, main thing, uh, uh, you know, like I said, is our identity. Even current events, 
current events that are going on. I do have a song named Coronavirus Plandemic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so current events, um, it, is, it is all nature for me as well. You know, a lot of it has to deal with how the animals, the trees, they do give me inspiration. And of course, the teachings of our ancestors. We're talking about Marcus Avi. Um, even, even Haile Selassie himself, the teachings of Moses, Isaac, Jacob, scripture on a whole, you know, so I do get a lot of inspiration from, from various things. A lot of it, you know, is grounded in nature, natural living and so forth. Good for you. Good for you. Now you mentioned the pandemic song. Is that one of the songs that's on YouTube? Can we listen to it? Yes, we can. Oh, we can. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Let me jump on that one time. And yes. everyone, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us on this live as we connect and celebrate uh, Abia Yisrael out of Dominica. Uh, she has committed herself for the last year to completely promoting her music. And I can tell that she's truly passionate about her music. So we're so happy that she's joining us here um, from Dominica. And let's just take a couple of comments on the live before we move forward. We have Corinne Eli, sure. I love this song so much Agnes beautiful young lady uh, Carl Kofi greetings I'm in hi Carl thank you for being here Derek Ra Peters is on the live and he says that's the way to go consciousness we got to know and maintain who we are thank you Ra thank you for being here uh, Yanni says she has found herself through education well done they don't teach you that in the church very nice uh, Johnson says, whoa, Dominica have too much talent. And of course, Kofi also says, True. congrats on your achievements. You got good pipes and is using it very well. So a lot of support on the live for you, Abia. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, Thank you. Yes. I so appreciate when people give me the feedback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's check out that song so we can enjoy a little bit more about your music now remind me what it's called coronavirus and in brackets okay. you'll see plandemic okay corona i'll just uh try because you have so much music i'll try to just uh type yes. it up instead oh there it is <laughs> oh that looks good all right so let's turn on the share so we can enjoy another number from a beer and this one is called coronavirus so let's see if we can share this one. Oh no it doesn't want to share for us let's try that again come on share the live <laughs> this time the live video <laughs> Oh, there we go. Gotta click on it first. There we go. Okay, let's wait. Corona and enter. There we go. You know, with technology, you always have to be prepared. Hold on, hold on. No, it doesn't want to come on. Well, let's keep talking while we try to bring that one on. You see, it's just showing us a blank screen for some reason okay but uh -huh. simone yes i suspect this is from another sometimes um, you need to get away from the kids for grown-up this time. is from oh i think <laughs> say that again that was from another youtube channel i don't know if that's why it was oh, not yes, sharing but let's right. see. i think i i think i got the right one now <laughs> or get away from the grown-ups for kid time and let's try and this Use your 
line. I see Rasta man heading up to Zion. Politicians losing their minds. Judgment in disguise, revelation time. Don't touch your eyes, don't touch your mouth, don't touch your face. What's happening to the human race? It's a virus. Control us, program and enslave us. Israelite nation, bond them vaccination. Just like in Goshen, protect our generation. Eating fruit, drinking plenty water. Stay away from sugar, milk what is a killer. Push medicine, strong herb tea. Ginger and garlic, keep the temple clean. Wow, you know, and you know what I'm noticing, um, Abia, uh, many times when you have an artist, you kind of know his song or her song because they all kind of sound similar, but your music is just so different. Is that intentional? Well, um, I suppose it is. Yeah, I suppose it is. Well, you see, um, when I when I consider myself like having Afro roots um, expressed in my music, I really uh, research the old school um, roots of this music. I love the old school conscious reggae, so that has been our influence in when we in making music, along with the modern stuff, along with other genres, Afro beats, pop music, you know, other local genres. So with all that. Combined in one, we at Kaya Studios really created our own song, mm -hmm. <laughs> our own yeah. sort of reggae song. So mm -hmm. I guess it happened, it kind of happened naturally. And, and now we are really, after a year now, we've really understood even our song and try to perfect on it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. I'm really enjoying the music. And I have to tell you, I've already played your music on my radio program, Untapped Potential. The minute I got my hand on it, I put Thank it on the radio. You. I had to. I love it. <laughs> so do you Thank know any other so radio much. stations that are, that are playing your music? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, like I say, we've been linking with so many stations and, and DJs. Herb Tree has been featured actually on BBC Radio, on Shawnee wow. B's uh, um, show. I Yeah. I don't know if you know mm -hmm. Shawnee B, one extra show, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so Herb Tree has been featured on there, as mm -hmm. well as there are other, like DJs in Europe, they've had um, the song on the radio station. There was a radio station on Germany. I, I did an interview some weeks ago with them. <laughs> Another station in South Africa. Um, mm -hmm. There's Vibes Radio in Kenya. Kenya, Vibes Radio in Kenya has been a really big support, really big support wow. to me. And I'm trying to remember <laughs> a few in the States, Cab Z, Cab Z Music, I believe that radio station is based in the U.S. Um, and of course, locally in Dominica, I have mm -hmm. some DJs in Dominica who really like ride behind my back like i i love them they've been a big support vibes radio in dominica has been a big yes, support big up to dj smooth mm -hmm. yeah big up to dj smooth and the other djs who lock it down um mm -hmm. as well as dbs big up to hazari hazari has been a big big huge support but, and all the other djs locally that i you know mm -hmm. i'm not aware of but i know people tell me that they hear the music locally so i'm so thankful for that yes and of course i would be remiss if i didn't ask you if your music is registered because you know we're trying to create a music industry in dominica and we're encouraging all our musicians to register so they can rip their royalties so i'm just putting it out there is that music registered <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, like I told you, my Good. first uh, gospel album, my gospel album came down way in 2012. So I've been registering my music since 20, before 2012. <laughs> Good for you. So yes, for I, you. I, I, I have that. I have that on lock. Good, good for you. And I, and I want to take in the comments on the, the Facebook Live, of, of course, but I also want to ask you about um, Kaya um, Studio. So how is that going? Have you guys been able to work with other artists in Dominica? How is it going for you? And if people are interested in working with Kaya Studio, how would they get in touch with you? Well, um, so far, Kaya Studios has been working well. It's really, like I say, um, we've been full force for a, about a year now. Understand when everyone had to go into quarantine and lockdown, that is when my husband and I really refocused our attention. We did a lot of reflection. Where are we now? Where do we want to go concerning music? So we've been full force as Kaya Studios for about a year. Um, we have recorded with some artists like Silk, Silk Asara, he does reggae music. I'm not too sure if you know him, but he's really good, really good reggae artist. Mm -hmm. Silk Asara, check him out. Um, okay, I will. <laughs> as well as there is, yeah, <laughs> as well as um, there's another local artist here, well, based in Cassie Bruce. Um, we work with him as well. His name is Red Eye. And so far, we have, like, my husband has produced a rhythm not out as yet currently working on it so we have some artists internationally working with when it comes out you all will know yes. <laughs> the come names back, of come those back artists to, um, push so back and let us know yeah. <laughs> all right um but as far as working with persons um oh even j crow j crow locally we are intended to to work with him he's a gospel mm -hmm. artist here in dominica so mm -hmm. we are pending a few ups um, and pro products with with J Crow. So right. yes, I believe we are we are open. There are other local artists that we are speaking with. So we mm -hmm. do have, like I say, plans in the making. Music is timeless, and yes. we want to make sure that we do this right. You know, we want to make sure we do this right. We send out really high quality music. So, mm -hmm. of course, you're going to see more Dominicans yes. working with Kaya Studios. Yes, and I'm <laughs> so happy to see all the great music that's coming out of Dominica, all the wonderful studios that have been open to be able to work with our artists. So let's take some of the love from the Facebook Live. We have uh, Kyle Kofi again, and he says, this is a stellar track, Loving the Vibes, uh, Indigenous Bushman, who, by the way, I, I want to say thank you. He was part of my panel on the International Nutrition Forum that we just had today as well. And he says, loving this track. Yes. We have Carol, great vibes, love this one. Uh, Michelle Green, who, by the way, is our sip and stroke uh, painter. So if you want to know more about what is sip and stroke, you got to jump on pushpast10.com for more information. And she says she looks like the beautiful and talented Kiki Palmer. Has anybody ever told you you look like Kiki Palmer, the actress? That's oh, wow. Thank you. That's a no, lovely compliment. I'll take that. That's a beautiful compliment. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. That. Yes, let's Thank see who you. else we have. We have uh, Sharon Dorival, and she says, enjoying the show, Simone Abia is a very pleasant young lady, and I love her music. So nothing but love for you on the live, Abia. Thank you. You see, you're making my cheeks hurt me. <laughs> chew, thank you chew, so chew. much <laughs> yeah yeah so thank, thank you for stopping by yeah. and being part of our end of day stress free zone like i like to call it but just tell me what are, what are your goals what are your aspirations hmm well i really i mean at the end of the day i really want to achieve what i sing about you know mm -hmm. a life of a life of conscious living, a life of truth living, you know, being true to who we were originally as a people without influence of, of, of any colonizers at all. To be honest, that is my goal, to live that, to be independent in my living, obviously obtaining income independently. Yes, and yes, um, yes. I really, 
I really want to go back to Africa. I really do. I and, and I'm too. not talking about Africa. I'm not talking about Africa um, that is divided. I'm talking mm -hmm. about an Africa that is united. All of us, mm -hmm. the diasporans, all over the world, coming back together and work for the betterment of, of, of really our land and our inheritance that has been taken away from us. Mm -hmm. That is my goal, Simone. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. And to see, uh, yeah. to see your music on an international stage, and we're already seeing that you're making international connections. So the sky's the limit well, once all these travel restrictions are over, I'm assuming. Oh, I, I mean, speak it into life, please, of course. Absolutely. <laughs> I would That's love to, of course, I would, yeah, I'm, I would love to travel with the music. I really, music-wise, want to see the music reach really every single corner of this earth. Every single mm -hmm. corner of this earth. I would love, you know, anyone who would, who would love to hear me or, or who would hear my song and really love the song. I just want the music to be all over the world because I believe one way or the other, somebody needs to hear these songs. Somebody Absolutely. needs to be uplifted. Somebody needs a better day and a smile on their yeah. face. Yes. That's what I'm here and, for. You know, with all this COVID and, and it seems like we go from one tragedy to the next, it's just great to have wonderful music uh -huh. to soothe us during these trying times. And speaking of international, we have Mary Sylvester on the live and she's watching all the way from Germany. So Ooh, lots hi. of good exposure <laughs> for you. So thank you, Mary. Thank you for being here. And thank you for all our viewers who are with us this evening. And I just have one final question for you, uh, Abia. And that is, what are the major obstacles that you're facing with regards to um, getting your music to the world? And just in general, the major obstacles that you're facing? Um, I, I suppose as it stands, uh, financially, really, you know, so my husband and I are really trying our best to to reach as far as we can with the resources that we have at this time. So, mm -hmm. of course, financially has been the biggest obstacle. Um, and also, I, I, I suppose, understanding the music industry in Dominica, I'm so thankful that our locally, our musicians are uh, stepping up stepping up in their game and understanding the industry for what it is in my calypso song i addressed payment for licensing and legislations mm -hmm. being developed in a way that locally our musicians can really make a dollar out of their music mm -hmm. you know can really understand when you invite us to shows there are certain procedures that need to take place, you know, in order for us to really make a living for ourselves. Absolutely. So that's what I would love. That's yeah. what I would love. Yeah, and you know, I think we're making the right strides in that direction because we just had the son of legendary yeah. Kodas, uh, uh creator, Gordon Henderson, Mr. Dion Henderson, and he's working, he's now in Dominica after 25 years in Paris, and he's now working tirelessly to do exactly what you said, create an industry along with AMP and others in Excellent. Dominica to create that industry where musicians do not have to have a second job. They can completely sustain themselves and sustain their life on their music. So I'm looking forward to that day and I hope that I can be a part of, of doing so through this platform and through the work that I'm doing. So again, thank you for being here. How can we support you? Is your music available for purchase on any streaming uh, platforms? How can we support you? Especially those of us who are out here in the diaspora who numbers to the hundreds of thousands. <laughs> Indeed, hundreds of thousands. So yes, yes I are. am on every <laughs> I'm on every streaming platform. Hallelujah. Mm. Spotify is now available in the Caribbean I region. Heard. Can believe it. So I'm on <laughs> So I'm on Spotify. I'm on um Apple Music, of course. You can purchase on Amazon, Amazon.com, anywhere that um you have streaming of music or purchasing of music, I am there. So go mm -hmm. and look for me. You will find me. <laughs> yes. And support. We just support. Put, uh, Thank uh, you. Uh, be, uh, Israel, right? <laughs> That's it. That's it. You can yes. put my name and as well as the song that you may know, 
but I'm sure if you search for my name, you will find it. Even on YouTube, yeah. you will find me. Yeah. Right? And speaking of Even YouTube, on Instagram, us- Simone. Yeah. Yes, that's what I was about to say. All your social, all your social handles. Tell us real quick so we can follow you. Because I've, I think I've followed you just about everywhere I could find you. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for you. We were looking for each other. Don't worry. Yes, so, I'll send um, you my Instagram. handles. It's all push past ten. <laughs> everywhere you go, it's P U S H P A S T, the number ten. <laughs> Easy. No problem. <laughs> so, so just um, remind Facebook, us of Facebook the social media. Course. Right. So Facebook, of course, is Abia Yisrael. Um, you see here, A-B-I-Y-A-H, Yisrael, Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. This is uh, for my Facebook platform. Then Instagram is Abia Music. Abia Music for Instagram. Can you believe I'm on TikTok? I'm on TikTok. Oh, look at you. So I, d- I did it. I <laughs> I fell for it. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good for you. So, TikTok, I am oh, um, Abia Music as well. And like I said before, YouTube, Abia 7, the number 7. Yes, good for you. Well, thank you for being here with um, Abia. Thank you for being a part of our end of day stress free. Uh, evening like we like to come on here and push past 10 and just enjoy and just take a deep breath and just relax kick our shoes off have a nice conversation connect with people on Facebook live and just uh, enjoy each other's company so do you have any final thoughts as we get ready to wrap up the program I just really want to say thank you very much again for having me Um, every time I can connect to the people out there I really appreciate it. I'm thankful for that. Thank you, Simone, for this platform. Um, Thank you, everyone who tuned in tonight and everyone else who will be viewing this afterwards. I really appreciate your support. And I love love when you guys connect with me. Send me a message. Let me know how you feel about the music. That gives me so much motivation. You wouldn't believe. Like, even the people who, who... tell me how to do better you know even the people who who critique the music out of love really that also helps Mm -hmm. me so feel free to connect with me online in my dm i do respond Mm -hmm. and um, thank you so much everyone and and i wish you all all the best in these times it is hard i understand it is hard for all of us all of us but there is always a silver lining with everything bad that's going on and i wish for for success for everyone for prosperity and and love and hope for us all yes and i always say where there is life there is hope so we always have to be mindful of that yes Yes, yes. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining us here once again for another Push Past 10 uh, presentation. As you know, we go around the world to promote our own, to promote our products, our people, our culture. We keep it simple. That's all we're here for. We have no hidden agenda. So of course, if you would like to connect with me to pr- promote yourself, promote your products, you can always reach out to me at pushpast10 at gmail.com. And I would encourage you to check out my website, pushpast10.com for all the information you need about to find out about what all these Facebook lives are about and how we are connecting the dots. So I want to thank you again for being here this evening. And let's just make sure we take a couple of comments before we head out. We have Sasha. <laughs> who was joining us for Marilyn, just saying hi. Rosalind says, very interesting interview. I'm looking at her YouTube. So people already jumped on the YouTube <laughs> channel and checking you out, Abia. So I think you can expect um, some, some followers. And when you go on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, 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 because that is one of the ways that our performers get um, an income. If you subscribe to the channel and the views continue to grow, they will actually be able to receive some compensation for that. So don't forget to subscribe. And while you're at it, you can also subscribe to Push Past 10. I'm on YouTube as well. And don't forget to follow Push Past 10. And I wanna thank everyone who continues to follow us and who continues to share the lives, share the videos of all the wonderful work that we're doing to promote our people. So again, thank you for being here. It's been my pleasure being with you this evening. And don't forget, we'll be back next week for some more live. 
guys and for my radio program untapped potential so again for all the information you need to know about me you can check out pushpast10.com and you have yourself a wonderful evening <laughs>